Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how I dye my eyebrows. This is my natural hair color and this is my natural brow color and I like it to be more filled in. I don't dye my eyebrows to necessarily be darker. I dye them so that I don't have to fill them in and I can just wake up and have brows and if I decide not to wear makeup, I look better. I don't have makeup on right now and the only thing that really bothers me is just how sparse my brows are. I would normally fill them in. Just to show you guys, when I do fill them in, I use this pencil. It's from LA Girl. I got it from CVS. It's in the shade 357 Brunette. And this works perfectly for me. A lot of times when I get cooler toned brow products, they almost look green. Let me know if you guys experience that or if it's just my weird like olive skin tone. Or it'll look too warm and it'll look orange. This is what this pencil looks like. It's definitely um, more cool toned. So when I wear it, it doesn't look like straight up green on me or orange. It's just a perfect cooler shade of brown with kind of like a little bit of grayness in it, which is what I like for my brows. It has a spoolie on the other end, so that's good. This is how I start. I'm gonna pull my hair back because it's already annoying me. Hair is out of my way. I'm gonna show you what I'm using to do this. I am cheap, okay? Just, just know that. The first thing I'm going to do is shape my actual brows and pluck anything I don't want to be dyed. And I put on this dyed stuff. If there's some really small blonde hairs that I didn't pay attention to like around my brows, they will be dyed and then when I take it off, I'll, you'll really be able to see them and they'll look even worse. I have a mirror sitting right here. This is how I'm gonna be sitting to do this. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is just brush through them and I like to brush them upwards like this. I am so blind. It's hard for me to even see my brows that far away. And then I'm going to go in and pluck. So like these little stray hairs right here, I'm going to pluck all of those off. And I just use like regular um, tweezers to do that. And I, I have a few spots. I'm sorry, you have to see those up close. That's kind of gross. I don't know if this is true for like everybody, but plucking like really hurts me. Like I do it anyways, but like it's, my skin is so sensitive that it actually hurts. Like I don't like it. Now that I've plucked them, I'm going to use this tool. This is the lid for it this. I think I got these in CVS as well. And it's just like a little razor and I reuse these as much as I can because um, I know they're plastic and I really don't like buying single-use plastic things. So I use these as much as I can but if you guys know more um, sustainable or eco-friendly options please let me know as long as they're not like an arm and a leg because these were only a dollar and I got three of them in the pack. So what I do with this is I get rid of my unibrow, which it looks like I don't have one, but there's really tiny blonde hairs here that grab onto foundation and powder and become more noticeable. So I just get rid of that just by going like this. And sometimes if I feel like my foundation is not sitting very nicely on my skin, I'll like do the top of my lip or like my chin area or even down the sides of my face. I learned that from Jaclyn Hill. Jaclyn Hill shapes her face like every couple weeks, I think. And we all know how good her makeup looks all the time. So thanks girl. If she's ever gonna see this, oh my gosh. And on the sides, I'll do the same thing. I'm just pulling it taut so that I don't catch my skin. I never pluck the top because I kind of like the, the bushy look at the top at least. If you see um, this red dot right here, I don't know if you can see, 
this red dot. That's a scar from slicing my eyelid with this, so. I'm not an expert, okay? So now my brows are shaped how I want them. All the baby hairs surrounding them are gone. I'm always looking this way because the screen is here and the lens is there and I look here so I'm in focus the whole time. So if it's annoying, I'm not being vain and admiring myself. I just wanna make sure I'm in focus, sorry. So as far as products, what I use is this Just For Men beard dye from Walmart. I think it's medium brown, but the second time around, I am gonna go one shade lighter because it's just a little too dark. So the good thing about getting this for your eyebrows is you use the tiniest, tiniest amount for both brows. And then you can, re you can save this. So I've had this for like a couple months now and I just keep taking it out. It doesn't go bad, um, it doesn't develop in the bottle and that's it. You mix equal parts of the color developer and the color base. And so I use like less than a pea-sized amount of each and there's still a bunch left over. I'm just doing it on like a paper towel. The tools I actually use to apply this, remember I said that I'm really cheap. I use a bobby pin and a nail tool. So this is like a double-ended nail tool with a brush on one side and a, a little metal thing so that you can do like dots on the other side so it's really tiny and I use this it's like dyed brown because I use this weapon I use this for this because it's just so small I can be really um, precise with it so so when you mix it together it looks yellow and then you put it on and then it develops kind of just like um, if you were to dye your hair the longer you leave it on the more it will develop the dark it will get this is what it looks like this is not the color it's going to be. It looks like snot. So what I start to do is I pick up some on this little tool and then I start laying it on my brow. And I'm sure this would be easier if I got like a tiny little um, eyebrow brush or eyeliner brush, but I'm so poor you don't even know. So I just put it on basically how I would fill my brows. I concentrate it more on the tail end and then once it's all soaked in there, I'll bring the tiniest bit of residue that's left and just lightly feather in the front because I don't want the front to be like a block. James Charles 2016 brow. So I'm just putting the residue up here towards the front grabbing some residue and then bring it forward. I never apply product directly to like the first fourth of my brow. It's going to look really dark and scary when it's developing and then I wipe it off and it might look a little strong for the first mm, like couple days but um, when, when you have your makeup on and foundation on and stuff, it looks equal with your face. It looks fine. But when you're makeup free and then you have filled in brows, it looks like you're makeup free and you have filled in brows. So, you know, it can look a little strange. But after I wash my face, even just like a couple times or even after like the first shower, it has come off of my skin a little bit. So it doesn't look so bad. Try and keep the tail nice and sharp like that. And I just have a look at it when it's developing. And if I notice a space that is not developing, obviously I've missed it, I'll go back in and fill it. But um, there's a timer on my phone and I'm gonna watch. I don't leave it on for longer than five minutes. I'm going to do the other one off camera and then I'll be right back. Okay, so both brows are on and now I'm gonna let them develop. You can see this one has developed quite a bit. Um, this like little skin residue will just come off with the alcohol I use, but um, you can see it kind of looks better already. It looks kind of like microbladed, but the really, really cheap way. So that's exactly what I'm going for. Um, I'm gonna let this sit for 
basically until it looks like I should take it off. It's like a, a few minutes, three to five minutes each brow, but um, I like them darker than some people would. So if it's your first time doing it, I recommend doing two minutes and take it off, see if you like it. If it's not dark enough, you can mix up some new stuff. I mean, there's plenty in here for, oh my gosh, like a hundred applications, like literally, I can't imagine ever running out of this anytime soon. I would do this once a month, I'd say. I do it once a month. Unless I have been like showering every single day and scrubbing my face every single day and need to um, update it. But when I remove it, I use a just little cotton pad and water and I'll just scrub off the red, scrub off all of the dye that's on my face, dry it, and then I go in with a toner, an alcohol-based witch hazel toner, and I put that on the cotton pad and I go around and make sure I get it off all my skin, go and like, when I take it off, I like scrub my brows back and forth and it won't come off, it, like, it's on there. So that's what I'm gonna do to remove it and then I'll be back and show you what it looks like. Okay, so I'm back and this is the final result. Um, I'll get close to it so you can see. This is what it looks like. They're not filled in, they're not gelled, nothing. I just scrubbed it off and this is what it looks like. Get you nice and close so you can see. Okay, so the last thing I'm going to do is show you how I would do my brows from now on now that they're dyed. You can see I don't need to fill them in. And honestly, even for not wearing makeup, I don't think they look that harsh um, on my face, even though my hair is so light. Maybe I'm just used to it by now and you guys are watching like, oh my gosh, <laughs> who's gonna tell her? Tell me, please. This is how I'll do my brows for the next probably month until I can tell that I need to fill them in and whatever, then I'll dye them. So I just take a spoolie and brush them up. And then I use a clear brow gel. This one's from e.l.f. It looks brown, but that's because I was filling in my brows and using this gel and then putting it back in. So that's why it looks brown, but it's actually clear. This brow gel, I think, is like a dollar or two dollars. It's e.l.f. It's really cheap. And it's actually, one side is for brows, one side is for lashes. But like, who wears clear mascara? It's the same product in both sides. They just say one size for lashes and one side is for um, eyebrows, but I use both of them for my eyebrows. On one side, the eyelash side, the spoolie looks like this. It's more pointy. And then on the eyebrow side, the spoolie looks like this and it's more squared off. I just put that on. And then they're locked in place and that's it. That's how I do my brows. So now if I go out without makeup on, I don't feel completely naked because the one thing that I feel like my face needs is eyebrows. You may feel different and that's that's fine, but for me personally, I need to at least have my brows in shape or I feel like trash. <laughs> Hope you guys liked it. Hope this helps you. Maybe you learn something. Maybe you'll try it. If you do try it, let me know. The biggest mistake you could make is one, not being precise with your application and two, leaving it on too long. You get so much product that you might as well be safe and leave it on too short of a time and just reapply for another minute or so because if it's on, you're stuck with it. You won't be able to scrub it off. You can scrub some of it off, but you'll have to wait for it to go away. So. Um, yeah, just be precise and be patient. Test it out a few times, maybe the first time do it for one minute, then two minutes, then three minutes, and see how dark you'd like it. There's also a ton of different shades. Um, the longer you leave it on, the darker it is, obviously, but they ha I don't know what kind of shades they have. I haven't tried any of the other shades, and like I said, I think this is medium brown, but I'll have to check, and I can leave it in the description once I figure out what shade I actually use, because that obviously matters. I, I should definitely know that. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, so hope you guys like this and hope this helped you out. Let me know what you guys want to see next. And yeah, thanks for watching. Okay, so today, why do I say okay so much? 
I don't dye my brows necessarily to be darker. I don't, oh my gosh. I don't dye my hair. No gosh. Oh, oh. If you guys could only see how I have this phone set up so it's high enough on the desk. Oh my God.